Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope all of you are doing great. So, some of you have already applied for Erasmus Mendes scholarship and now you are waiting for the outcome of your application. And maybe some of you are wondering what would be the next step and how you can prepare for the interview if there is some interview session in your program. So, today's video is all about to discuss these points. If you are interested to know more uh, about the important interview tips and what would be the next step towards your Erasmus application. So don't skip this video. Let's get started. After the submission of your application, your application will be forwarded uh, for a review process. The reviewer will be one of the professor from the universities which are involved in that master program in which you had applied. So the professor will carefully analyze your uh, uh, application and will create a ranking list of the candidates and that list will be shared to the program coordinator. Depending on the number of scholarships for that particular program, the program coordinator will make a merit list and send the emails to the top candidates either for their selection directly or in some programs they will ask you either one or two extra interview session before making the final selection okay so from now to onward i'm going to talk about the tips to prepare for this interview regarding interview maybe you are wondering who is going to conduct this interview again it would be a professor from one of the universities which are involved in that master program so you will receive an email from the program coordinator with the details of that professor and also in that email they will ask you about your availability uh, on a particular date and time for 30 to 40 minute interview session okay so what you have to do just simply reply to this uh, email that okay yes uh, you will be available uh, for this interview session okay so now let's talk about things to do uh, before this interview number one you must check your internet connectivity it should be fine otherwise you are in trouble okay the second thing that you have to uh, pay attention is you must know the online interview platform they are going to conduct uh, interview for example either it would be uh, a skype or it could be uh, a zoom so you know how this platform works uh, if you don't know then definitely during the uh, interview session you will lose your confidence number three you should find a silent place for this interview session number four must read some of the latest research article of that professor and try to uh, find out the research interest of that professor and try to link your research interest with the professor's research interest and if you get a chance during interview try to discuss about your interest and professor interest and the linkage and this is going to definitely a uh, very good uh, for your uh, selection so these are the things that you must have to pay attention before the interview so now let's talk about the interview itself Interviews start actually with a very common question, introduce yourself. So you have to introduce yourself into one to two minutes, not more. After that, the discussion will start with, uh, uh, from your application actually. What you have written in your letter of motivation and what information you have provided in your CV. So they are going to ask questions from uh, that information. Okay, so uh, it's important before appearing that interview you should read carefully your cv and your letter of motivation to answer uh, the question during interview very well sometimes what happen people write something and interview in interview they answer something different so it means they they either wrote uh, uh, false or they are they they, they are trying to mislead uh, you know the selection committee so in that scenario, you are going to simply disqualify uh, for that uh, scholarship. So always remain truthful what you have written. Actually, what you have done, you should have to write that thing, not exaggeration. Now move to the next point. 
during this interview you must have a copy pencil and a calculator because most of the time they will ask you some short calculation okay and this calculation is could be a simple mathematic or they may ask some basic questions from your uh, uh, subject okay so it would not be very very hard question but very basic and simple question so it's always better to have a copy pencil so you can uh, answer well during interview another thing they may ask about your short term and long term goals so again because you have mentioned these things in your letter of motivation and in your cv so one of them you have written those uh, points so try to answer that uh, uh, in a way that uh, the previously written uh, uh, answer and what you are going to say both of them will align with the uh, uh, long term objective of the program in which you had applied okay so this is the the best way to answer this question also they may ask about your international exposure or maybe they can ask how you are going to survive in different european culture away from home so you have to answer these questions carefully you have to quote some example from your past that you are uh, okay to live away from your home okay so this is important in the end the professor may ask if you have any question and i would recommend you just ask one or two question not more uh, maybe you can ask about the research facilities available in their lab maybe you are more curious to know some of the universities uh, which are involved in that master program or maybe you can simply ask some question related to the research of that professor or maybe you can simply ask uh when you can expect the outcome of this interview and what would be the next step towards your selection so these are some questions that you can ask so that's all for today's video and i hope you like this video and uh, i hope that it would be helpful for some of the candidates that uh, uh, receive the interview call so if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel until next video take care bye bye